So let's see how we can use X ray tree. All you need to do is to make sure your objects are using a standard surface material. Assign all the maps to your material. Select the objects and then just press the build selected button. Now just wait a few seconds until it is uh, done with its job. And you're going to have a very beautiful result. Let's do the same thing for these objects. And now if you remember the previous uh, x-ray, you need to manually add a reflection actor and uh, build uh, all the light reflection and uh, SSS. And you can also do the same thing here. So if you open the detail pick, you have the same uh, buttons as before. So you can just build the light, SSS or reflection. And it is useful for uh, the times when you change something in a mesh or change the light and you just want to update the light and you don't want the, uh, to go through the baiting of SSS and reflection. And overall, you don't even need to use uh, this window. If you go to the hotkey editor, we have a X-ray section and here you have uh, different buttons for building uh, the whole mesh or just light reflection and SSS. And I highly, highly recommend uh, that you set out key for these buttons and just use this. And another thing that uh, I highly recommend that you set out key for is the select X-ray material. Uh, if you look at one of these objects, you can see that after using X-ray, it is going to have a lot of nodes in the attribute editor. Uh, finding a material can be a little bit hard, so uh, it will help a lot if you set this hotkey and you just press the select the object and press this button, and it is going to show you the material. So let's uh, bake these objects just with the hotkey. And there you have it. And for this one, uh, this is also one of the uh, updates in X33. Previously, we had a little problem with when uh, one object had multiple materials. So I tried to fix this, and if you bake this object, you can see that it is now going to work just fine. Like this. And some of these objects, like this ones, also have displacement map. You can view the displacement by pressing the by selecting the objects and pressing the Alt and Three key. Like this. 